Today back then, what happened today in modern history? Let's get most smartest. In 1780, the first British Sunday newspaper is printed. In 1790, the U.S. Congress passes the Naturalization Act, which requires a two-year residency to be a citizen. In 1804, the U.S. Congress orders removal of Indians to east of the Mississippi in Louisiana. Also in 1804, the Territory of Orleans organizes within the Louisiana Purchase. In 1812, an earthquake measuring 7.7 on the Richter scale destroys 90% of Caracas, Venezuela and kills an estimated 15,000 to 20,000 people. In 1820, according to Mormon scholars, future Mormon church leader Joseph Smith has his first vision in a wooded area of New York. In 1827, Ludwig van Beethoven passes away today. You know who he is. In 1830, the Book of Mormon is published in Palmyra, New York. In 1839, the first Henley Royal Regatta is held. In 1845, a patent is awarded for an adhesive medicated plaster, which is the precursor of Band-Aids. In 1859, the first sighting of the planet Vulcan occurs today, which orbits next to Mercury. The problem is, it doesn't exist. In 1863, voters in West Virginia approve the gradual emancipation of slaves. In 1862, Thomas J. Martin of Alabama receives a U.S. patent for a pipe and valve fire extinguisher system. In 1874, American poet Robert Frost is born. Have you read any Robert Frost? You should. In 1878, the Hastings College of Law is founded in California. Also in 1878, the Sabi Game Reserve opens in South Africa, which is the world's first officially designated game reserve. In 1881, Thessaly is freed and becomes part of Greece again. In 1885, the Eastman Film Company manufactures the first commercial motion picture film. Also in 1885, the world's first modern legal cremation is held in England. In 1903, American Hotel opens in Amsterdam. In 1910, the U.S. forbids immigration to the U.S. of criminals, anarchists, poor people, and the sick. In 1911, American playwright Tennessee Williams was born. In 1913, Dayton, Ohio was nearly destroyed when the Scioto, the Miami, and the Muskegon Rivers reached flood stage simultaneously. In 1915, at the Stanley Cup Final, the Vancouver Millionaires beat the Ottawa Senators 12-3 for a 3-0 sweep of the first non-challenge series ever. In 1917, during the First Battle of Gaza in World War I, British troops are halted by 17,000 Turks blocking their advance. Also in 1917, at the Stanley Cup Final, the Seattle Metropolitans beat the Montreal Canadiens 9-1 for a 3-1 series victory, becoming the first U.S. team to win the Stanley Cup. In 1926, the first lip-reading tournament is held in the United States. In 1927, the famed automobile race across Italy, the Mille Miglia, was first started. In 1930, Sandra Day O'Connor, the first woman to become a U.S. Supreme Court Justice, was born. Also in 1930, Congress appropriates $50,000 for an inter-American highway. In 1934, the automobile driving test is introduced in the United Kingdom. In 1937, Joe DiMaggio takes Ty Cobb's advice and replaces his 40-ounce bat with a 36-ounce one. I guess it worked. Also in 1937, the spinach growers of Crystal City, Texas erect a statue of Popeye the Sailor Man. In 1937 as well, William H. Hasty becomes the first black federal judge. In 1940, during World War II, the first female prisoners arrive at Auschwitz in Poland. In 1943, Elsie S. Ott is the first woman to be awarded the U.S. Air Force Medal. In 1944, singer Diana Ross is born today. In 1945, today allies led by the U.S. Marine Corps raise the U.S. flag over Iwo Jima after 18,000 Japanese and 6,000 Americans are killed. In 1951, the United States Air Force flag is officially adopted. 
1952 in the first tournament to have a true Final Four format at the 14th NCAA Men's Basketball Championship, Kansas beats St. John's 80-63. In 1953, Dr. Jonas Salk announces that he has successfully tested a vaccine to prevent polio. That was a major development in medical history. In 1955, The Ballad of Davy Crockett by Bill Hayes becomes the number one record in the United States. In 1956, the Medic Alert Foundation is formed today. In 1958, at the 30th Academy Awards, The Bridge on the River Kwai wins Best Picture, and Joanne Woodward and Alec Guinness win Best Actress and Actor. In 1960, the Orioles-Reds baseball series that was to open in Havana, Cuba today is moved to Miami, Florida. In 1964, Funny Girl, starring Barbara Streisand as Fanny Bryce, opens at the Winter Garden Theater in New York City and runs for 1,348 performances. In 1967, 10,000 people gather for one of the many Central Park B-Ins in New York City. In 1969, Marcus Welby, M.D., starring Robert Young and James Brolin, debuts as a TV movie on ABC TV prior to becoming a weekly series. In 1970, the 500th nuclear explosion is announced by the United States since 1945. Also in 1970, the Golden Gate Park Conservatory is made a San Francisco city landmark. In 1970 as well, Peter Yarrow of popular singing group Peter, Paul and Mary pleads guilty to taking immoral liberties with a 14-year-old girl and serves only three months in prison and is then granted a presidential pardon in 1981. What? What in the world? In 1981, the Benny Hill Show tops TV ratings. Now that one really surprises me. Also in 1971, Cannon, starring William Conrad as a private detective, premieres on CBS TV and airs for five seasons. In 1972, the LA Lakers break the NBA wins record by winning 69 of 82 games. Their record will stand for 24 years. In 1973, the TV soap opera The Young and the Restless premieres on CBS TV. Also in 1973, Susan Shaw is the first woman in 171 years to enter London's Stock Exchange. In 1975, the Biological Weapons Convention becomes effective. It has been ratified by most countries in the world. Also in 1975, Ken Russell's film Tommy, based on the rock opera by The Who, premieres in London. In 1975 as well, setting an NHL record, the Washington Capitals lose their 37th road game tonight. In 1976, Paul McCartney and Wings released their Wings at the Speed of Sound album. In 1977, Elvis Costello releases his first record, Less Than Zero. In 1979, the Israeli-Egypt Peace Treaty is signed. Also in 1979, the San Diego Padres and the San Francisco Giants announce plans to play an exhibition series in Tokyo but the giant players reject it. In 1980, Bombay, India gets its first rock concert in 10 years. They get to see the police. In 1982, a groundbreaking ceremony for the Vietnam Veterans Memorial is held in Washington, D.C. Also in 1982, Paul McCartney and Stevie Wonder release their single, Ebony and Ivory. In 1986, Geffen Records sign Guns N' Roses. In 1990, at the 62nd Academy Awards, Driving Miss Daisy, Daniel Day-Lewis, and Jessica Tandy win. Also, Japanese filmmaker Akira Kurosawa wins the Academy Award for Lifetime Achievement. In 1992, boxer Mike Tyson is sentenced to 10 years for the rape of Desiree Washington. Also in 1992, the New York Rangers clinch their first NHL regular season championship in 50 years. In 1995, the Schengen Agreement takes effect. It abolished border checks throughout most of Europe. Also in 1995, Defending the Caveman opens at the Helen Hayes Theater in New York City for 671 performances. In 1995 as well, at the 15th Razzie Awards, The Color of Night wins for Worst Movie. 
In 1997, police discovered the bodies of 39 members of Heaven's Gate, an American religious group that believed in alien life who had committed suicide believing that a spaceship was coming to take them to a better place. In 1998, in a massacre in Algeria, 52 people are killed with axes and knives. 32 of them are babies under the age of two. In 1999, a jury in Michigan finds Dr. Jack Kevorkian guilty of second-degree murder for administering a lethal injection to a terminally ill man who wanted to commit suicide. Also in 1999, the Melissa worm infects Microsoft word processing and email systems around the world. In 2000, Vladimir Putin is elected president of Russia. Also in 2000, at the 72nd Academy Awards, American Beauty, Kevin Spacey, and Hilary Swank win. In 2001, World Championship Wrestling is purchased by the World Wrestling Federation. Did that make it more real? In 2005, 16 years after being canceled, the BBC sci-fi series Doctor Who brings a new episode to television. In 2006, Scotland bans smoking in all substantially enclosed public places. In 2011, American politician Geraldine Ferraro dies at age 75. She was the first woman to be nominated for U.S. Vice President by a major political party. In 2012, Canadian filmmaker James Cameron becomes the first person to visit Challenger Deep, the deepest point on Earth in over 50 years. In 2013, Ariana Grande's first single, The Way, is released. In 2015, Richard III of England is reburied at Leicester Cathedral in England, after being discovered under a car park in Leicester in 2012. He was originally buried in 1485. In 2018, the United States, the European Union, and Ukraine expel more than 100 Russian diplomats in response to Russia's use of nerve gas in the United Kingdom. Also in 2018, in an interview with CBS's 60 Minutes, porn star Stormy Daniels claims she had an affair with Donald Trump. In 2018 as well, the U.S. Federal Trade Commission confirms it will investigate Facebook over privacy concerns. And another in 2018, The Black Panther becomes the highest grossing superhero film in America. I just have to do this one as well. In 2018, a U.S. soldier receives the world's first penis and scrotum transplant at Johns Hopkins University in Baltimore, Maryland. In 2019, Chicago prosecutors accuse actor Jussie Smollett of staging fake racist and homophobic attacks. In 2020, as of today, U.S. cases of COVID-19 exceed all other countries. Also in 2020, a record number of Americans file for unemployment, 3.3 million according to the U.S. Department of Labor. And lastly in 2020, Christ Church Mosque gunman Brenton Tarrant pleads guilty to all 51 murders in New Zealand. So thanks for watching today's episode. Make sure that you subscribe to my channel and keep watching. I'll keep making them. Have a great day.